you guys it's your girl selena i'm back with another video today you guys i am doing another it's supposed to be a car chat but obviously you can see i'm not in a car i am in my kitchen because alila came back from her dad's house and now i'm just sitting in the kitchen i don't want to leave her in the house by herself while i go do a video because that wouldn't be responsible so today we are going to do a story time in my house <laughs> If you guys have been keeping up with me and you've been watching all of my car chats, then you already know basically everything that's been going on. I've been doing like a storyline, story time, car chat videos all the way from the time that I dropped out of high school all the way up until the time that I had an abortion. Um, yesterday, in yesterday's video, the last thing I said at the end of the video was, if you made it to the end of the video, I said today I was going to start the story time about the time I gave my life to Jesus. But I realized overnight that that's not where we're at. So we're not going to tell that story time until tomorrow. But today, you guys, for story time is, we. I'm going to tell the story time about the time that me and my oldest daughter, Angela, almost got hit by a car. So... Make sure you guys, um, before we get into this video, please make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications so you, get, so you can get notified the next time I post another video. Make sure you guys go ahead and scroll down before I get into the video and like this video. And um, also make sure you leave a comment. The more engagement you guys that I get, the better chances I have of uh, YouTube pushing me up in the algorithm to put my videos to other people so that other people can view them. So make sure you guys watch the video all the way through. Make sure you guys like the video and leave a comment as well. And if you can, if you're feeling generous, go ahead and share my video on one of your, or share my YouTube channel on one of your social media platforms like Facebook or something. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so we're gonna get into the story. It's a quick story, by the way. So this is going to be like a quick video. So one day when I, I don't know if I was living at my mom's house at the time or all I know is I was at my mom's. So I was at my mom's house and it was me, Michael. If you know who Michael is, Michael is. I'm not going to say his real name, but it's Alila's dad. We're not going to say his real name. I'm just saying that so Alila doesn't go, that's not his name. So Michael and then Angela. No, you can't say his real name on video though because they're not supposed to know their real names. So don't say his name. So, <laughs> so um, me, Michael, Angela, and Alila, we were walking to, Alila was like six months, she was small. Maybe a year, I think she was like six months. She was very, she was very small still, she was a baby. And then Angela. Angela was like six years old or seven years old at the time. She was very tiny. So me and Michael and Angela and Alila, we were walking to the grocery store. We went to pray shop or whatever. We went to go get some groceries. And we went to the dollar store. We went to Family Dollar across the street. And um, on the way back, now I do feel bad. I did feel bad about this a little bit at the time. But I did forgive myself. But so we were walking back from Family Dollar, and I remember I told, I think I told Angela not to, um, not to bring any toys out the house or something like that. Or I don't remember what it was. I think it was like a toy or something that she picked out at the store, or maybe it was something that she bring back from the house. Like my memory is shot, you guys. Um, all I know is I told her to hold it herself. And I ended up holding it. Like, you know how when your kids bring toys out the house or something like that and you tell them as long as you're going to carry it the whole time and then they then you end up carrying the toy for them anyways? So I'm like, Angela, I'm not holding this for you. And all I know is I got a little bit frustrated and I got a little annoyed with her or something. And I was like, you're annoying or like you're getting on my nerves or something like that, something to that extent. Like, so, so stupid. So we're walking, right? So the street that we got hit on was... So there was like a four-way intersection like like this, like a T basically. So this is the street to go down back towards my mom's house. And this is like the street that like is like in the middle of it. So so Michael and Alila were walking right here, like 
like on the sidewalk basically like walking on the sidewalk or whatever we're all walking on one side of the street i wish i could like show you guys a picture like just just work with me okay so there's a t right so there's a street going this way and then you're on the sidewalk on this side of the street so it was michael and elila walking on this side like it they weren't on the sidewalk they were like on the outside of the sidewalk like right next to us walking and then me and angela so angela was walking on the inside or the outside she was walking on the outside okay so she was walking on the outside of the like like on the outside like towards the street and then i was walking on the inside so me and her are walking and then as soon as we get across the street all four of us as soon as we get across the street like at that corner all i hear is all i hear is watch out and next thing you know it i just grabbed angela like by an inch like grab her like this like try to like move her like an inch basically and a car a big black suv truck just came and went Shoo! boom really loud and hit the house hit the corner of the house and then angela was like on the floor i don't know if she fell when i grabbed her or if that car mushed her a little bit but all i know is when i was gonna grab her she was on the floor and that car hit the house and it hit it really long like hard and loud when i tell you guys that car skimmed her arm like just by an inch you guys i just froze me and angela just froze we couldn't believe what happened my ears was ringing angela was crying and i was all like oh my gosh my baby that could have been my baby and all I could think is the last thing I said to her was saying that she was either annoying or she was getting on my nerves or something. And I was like so crying and so scared. Like I couldn't believe that happened. Like what? Like God forbid, what if she would have got hit? And that was the last thing like I said to her. Like you guys, I was going crazy after that. Like I am so paranoid now to have have my daughter. Like when I walk with my daughter now, like with Alila, I make sure she walks on the inside of the street. Like on the inside of the sidewalk and me on the outside just because that day that happened that was like the most scariest thing ever you guys like i don't know about y'all leave a comment down below if you guys ever got into a car accident or if you guys ever had that situation where you almost got hit by a car and just leave me a little story time because i do like to read some of you, i do like to read you guys' story times and i do read all your comments so leave me a comment down below if you ever had that experience because that is the most scariest thing ever okay me and my girlfriend me and her also got into a car accident we got into a car accident one time which i think i will just tell the story because it was a long it the story is short and i just want to tell a story so and i'm pretty sure you guys don't mind right give me a big thumbs up if you guys don't mind so one time me and my girlfriend christina um we were I'm a, should i edit i don't feel like editing her name is christina okay so me and her are at my sister's house with my daughter with Alila. So we're all hanging out at my sister's house or whatever. And it's like twelve o'clock at night. And Alila was already in bed with my sister's kids. So me and Christina were like, screw it, we'll just go we'll just go home for the night, go to sleep. And then in the morning when my sister calls and says to come get your daughter, we'll just get up and go get her. So me and Christina were driving at like 12 o'clock at night, right? It was like so calm. It was like the most calmest thing ever. So we're driving back from the um from my sister's house and the same thing the same four-way intersection type of street so we're part we're stopped at the red light right you guys so the green light turned for us to go and we start driving so now christina is on this side of the car like on the driver's side like right here so it's like this type of street so she's right here and i'm right here and there's a street like this so we're driving as soon as we get underneath the red light underneath the light she goes Christina goes, oh my gosh, he's about to hit. And then next thing you know, it just went boom. Like super hard and loud, like boom. Just hit her whole driver's side. And all I could see is her, all I did was this. Like I'm in the car like this. I'm in the car like this. I just turned and I was like, I turned so hard. I was like, oh my gosh. And then it just hit her. 
And I'm just looking at her face and see how scared she was and seeing her trying to figure out what to do with her wheel and stuff and trying to like turn the wheel. And all I can remember seeing is the big flash, like um, a flash from the um, t from the lights, from the headlights of the car. That's all I remember seeing. And then the car backs up. It was a white, white Chevy suburban big one of them big trucks like one of them big white trucks this guy freaking ran the red light okay he had to been going about 55 miles per hour down that freaking block he had no intentions on stopping he just wanted to keep going this guy going back up and try to keep going until she said till christina said take out your phone he about to pull off go, um take a picture of his car and call the cops so i hurry up take my phone out my Took my phone out of my pocket and tried to hurry up and take a picture. And when he seen that we were taking a picture, she he she parked her car. She parked her car on the corner and then he gets out and he like he like he comes out to us and he goes he goes y'all are right mamas y'all are right little mamas and he trying to ask if we if we was okay. But just a second ago he was about to take off without caring about anything, like. Yo, so we get out the car, whatever, we call 911 and the cops and the ambulance come. He gave her, her, um, the the driver that hit us gave, gave Christina his, um, like insurance number and his license plates numbers and stuff like that. And then he was like, I gotta go. I'm, you know, I'm busy. So then he leaves or whatever. And then the cops come and we're telling the cops what happened and stuff. And all I could think of is uh, when this happened, this was like recently, there was like, this was like a year or something ago. By this time, I already believed in God. So at this time, I'm like, I'm outside, like crying on the corner. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Like, I was like crying and praying, but at the same time, I was happy because I was like, we got really lucky. Like, the way that he hit us and as fast as he was going, we could have went like spiraled out of control. Like, anything that could have went way worse than it did. I did have some like neck, my neck did hurt a little bit for a couple of days and my back was on fire for a couple of days, but I guess that was like from the whiplash. And Christina, however, the car hit her, the door hit her knee and um, she had pain all on her whole right side. She had like pinching nerve feelings and stuff all down her leg and on her neck and on her back and on her arm. She was just in so much pain. For a couple of days she, we both went to go to the hospital and they gave me some they gave me some muscle muscle relaxers but they didn't give her anything they told her they wanted her to go get an x-ray first before they gave her anything because they wanted to make sure nothing was wrong and just like it was just crazy like that was crazy the first time that me and angela almost got hit by a car um day day the, the guy that I was talking about, you're saying the video, Day Day had passed away like a week or so before that. And all I know is that night after I went home and called, everybody like called uh, my daughter's grandmother and my daughter's dad and everybody let them know we almost got hit by a car. And they were all saying, just thank God, just thank God, just thank God, like thank God that that didn't happen. You know, at this time, I didn't believe in God still. So I'm like, that night I went and had a dream. I had a dream about Day Day that like in my dream i had a dream that he stopped the car from hitting us so i don't know if you guys believe in guardian angels or not but i definitely do believe in guardian angels and i definitely believe that a guardian angel either it was a guardian angel or it was god or it was jesus whatever all i know is both times those situations could have been really really bad and i think those are those two times right there were one of the times that i witnessed the power of God on my life like his grace towards us like he really does have a plan for me and he has a plan for me and my kids because to be honest that car could have hit me Michael Alila and Angela it could have hit all four of us because we were all next to each other but me and Angela were on the sidewalk that right there was the first time I ever witnessed God's grace and then that time that the car accident happened with me and Christina was the second time I ever witnessed God's grace like full-on like witnessed his grace you guys But that's the end of the story time, you guys. It wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't all emotional and stuff, right? I just want to tell you guys about the time that me and my daughter almost got hit by a car and the time that me and Christina got into a car accident. Okay? That was that was good, guys? Okay. So tomorrow, 
I am going to talk about tomorrow. Okay, yeah. So, so tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to talk about the time that I, wait, tomorrow I'm going to talk about the time that I gave my life to Jesus. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that tomorrow. Unless I, my brain comes up with another memory. Say hi. Hi. Say what's up, guys. What's up? Tell them, tell them where you was at for a couple days. I was at my dad. She left me. By myself. Come over here. Come say hi to everybody. And don't mind her hair, you guys. I Today was hair wash day. I washed her hair. Her hair was in like twists for like a good month or so. So for tonight, I'm just letting it breathe. Her hair breathe. And then tomorrow, we're going to brush it out and comb it out and put some, put some oil on her scalp. But tonight it's just breathing. Did you have a fun Christmas? Yeah. Tell everybody uh, Merry Christmas since you wasn't here for Christmas. Happy, happy holiday. That's how you do it. <laughs> Did you like everything you got for Christmas? Yep. Yeah? Yep. You want to show them one thing that you got? Yeah. Before I end the video, go hurry up. Go show, go grab something and show them something that you got for Christmas. Before the video ends. That way the video is not too short. But it's long enough. You know. We'll, we'll make it a 18 minute video for you guys. And if you're still watching all the way to the end. Then I appreciate you very much. Because that means you really love us. <laughs> Come. Show them what you got. What's this? What's this? It's a doll. This is one of those American Dream dolls. Yeah. Now show them your baby alive, you guys. Look at this. Look what they're normalizing. Look at the baby. The baby is sick. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Have you guys ever saw a sick baby doll? Is that actually a thing? Or is it a thing now that coronavirus is out? Are they making baby dolls and stuff to normalize coronavirus? Are they making money off of this stuff now? You see this? She's supposed to be sick. I never saw a doll that was sick before. If you have, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys ever saw a doll that was sick. Because I never saw this before. This is crazy. And she thinks it's funny on top of that. Like, no, it's not funny. You got, you got, you got germs. Go get her a mask because she needs on a mask so she don't get us sick. That's, that's crazy, ain't that, you guys? That's something. How they got a baby doll with coronavirus? Like, let's just normalize this, okay? Look at this. Look at this cute doll. Looks like Delilah, doesn't it? <laughs> and my mom got me some, my mom got me some body wash and some body lotion and some soap for my bathroom and a, um, a sponge she tried to tell me I was she tried to tell me I was thinking I need to go wash my butt <laughs> and she got me a um she got me a so a snowman that talks that talks <laughs> good job that's cute that's cute now I got now I got four kids you guys great see no there's some last one one two three <laughs> We're gonna end the video though, so it doesn't be too long one, for them. One. Two, you got anything else you want to say to them? Three, four, five. You got anything else you would like to tell these people? Mm. Tell our friends. Oh, a shout out, cause I don't have a shout out. Um, I don't have a shout out written down today. Um, um, let me see. Let me see if I can remember one off the top of my head. Besides Alicia and Kinara, because she comments every day. She's faithful to us. But anybody, everybody that subscribes to my channel, everybody that watches my video, shout out to you. How about that? All my subscribers, shout out to you. I don't have a, I don't have a specific shout out today. I'm not even going to lie. I don't. <laughs> I didn't have anybody written down. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a shout out. I'll do three shout outs tomorrow, okay? So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. But thank you guys for watching this story time. Um... Leave some challenge videos or some ideas down in the comments down below for me and Delilah to do in the future or whatever. We're still going to keep on going with these story times. I got to get these out of the way. I got like four or five more car chats to do, story times to do with you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. 
make sure you guys if you guys are new and if you haven't already i don't know what you're doing wasting your time subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications so you can get notified the next time i post another video give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want to get shouted out tomorrow in my video okay thank you guys for watching this video till next time peace Love and grace. <laughs> she was coming. You guys, when I start my merch, when I get merch, I'm going to do peace, love, and grace merch. Like, why not? We're going to spread positivity around the world. And I think I might put my paintings on the t-shirts. What do you guys think? You got, excuse Alila. Guys, look it. Tell me you guys don't think that would be a good idea for me to put my paintings on a t-shirt with peace, love, and grace on it. That would be cool, right? Okay. <laughs> Guys, look it. She can't, she colored that today. And it sticks on the wall. On the fridge. On the fridge. It has a bag in it. But but we can stick on our everything, mm -hmm. like our like on the wall. Our oh, I have forgot. I want to tell you guys one more thing. If you guys okay. have Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the link for my Instagram. My Instagram. For my Instagram down in the description box down below so you guys can go ahead and follow me on there um, I Post mostly reels and TikToks. I do be shaking my rump around there sometimes So if you don't like that kind of content don't go Don't go follow me, but if you want and you don't judge Just go follow me on Instagram, but whatever anyways you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video till next time peace love and ah, grace. You said it already Hurry up because the video is long. Peace Love. and grace. Till next time, guys. Peace out. Peace.